When we last checked in with the research vessel Corrigonus, it looked like this. Now, it looks like this. If you think that transformation was amazing, wait till you see what's been done to the inside of the boat. Paul Peters will give us a tour. Lake Michigan is a large and diverse ecological system. And in order to get accurate fisheries information from the lake, we need to be able to diversify our sampling techniques. We'll be able to trawl with this vessel. We'll be able to use hydroacoustics with this vessel. And we'll also be able to deploy other types of limnological and fisheries equipment. In the Corrigonus, we have the five watertight compartments. And the middle three are all accessible below deck to each other. This is the second of the watertight compartments and it has a hatch in it so that you can travel from that compartment into what is called the tank room. Moving aft in the vessel, this is the next of the watertight compartments and I'm entering what will be the engine room. The engines aren't in here right now. They're trying to do all the wiring, piping and plumbing. Once the engines are in here, it's going to be a very tight space. The back deck is exposed to the elements, and at times of freezing spray, it could get icy. So we've incorporated a special feature into the Corrigonus that we actually have heating elements applied to the underside of the deck. And in icing conditions, we can turn those on, and it'll keep the deck ice free. The Barney Divine is a steel displacement hull vessel, and it has a top speed of about 10 knots with a stiff tailwind in a following sea. This vessel will be able to do at least 20 knots. Right now, when we have surveys to do in Milwaukee, it takes us about 15 to 16 hours to transit there from our home port in Sturgeon Bay. With the RB Corrigonis, we'll be able to make that trip in a single eight-hour shift. Additionally, because of the onboard fish processing capabilities, we'll be able to use our transit time to weigh and measure fish. Whereas on the Barney Divine, we have to often have to wait until we get back to shore to process the fish. So what's next for the Corrigonis? Her christening and some sea trials. We're about four months into our build schedule, and right now the vessel is scheduled to be completed in January. We won't be able to do the sea trials in January, but the vessel should be completed by then. As soon as ice is out, we'll be doing the sea trials and should be able to accept delivery of the vessel before our spring survey schedule starts in early May. I don't know about you, but I say, let's put her in the water and see if she floats. That will be our next part of the story.